Hey students, um, I've had several people turn in a really, really uh, non-correct copy of uh, problem 4-11. So I'm going to take the time out to show you how it should be drawn, okay? Um, it is on page 4-60. Uh, this problem is also in chapter 8. Uh, it's one that you'll eventually uh, be doing. It's uh, problem P8-8. Now, I'm not going to dimension it in this, uh, in this video. I'm just going to show you how you draw it and how to have it spaced uh, correctly as best as you can. So I'm just going to shut up and start drawing here and start off with our object line. We're going to start drawing the front view. Now the front view is, um, <coughs> excuse me, I've been doing a lot of talking tonight. I've uh, been doing some videos, so please bear with me. Um, so I'm just going to start down here, and I'm going to go 20. Okay, that's where I am on that. And you know what I need to do? I need to stop that right there, and I need to set my limits. L i m i t s. Uh, let's see, zero comma zero. And with this being a metric drawing, I'm going to make it uh, four hundred comma four hundred. That should give me plenty of room. Then zoom all. Okay, now, here we go. So I'm going to go this way, 20, right, yep. And then I'm going to go up 50. We'll be right on that green line. 50. And then this way, we're going to go 110. And then this way, 15. And then this way, let's see, 110 minus 20 is 90. And then I can hit C for close. So there's that part. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. I know that's more annoying than hardly anything else. Now, I'm going to... Uh, make a line i'm going to offset the bottom line 20 up and then i'm going to change that to a hidden line okay now before i do the rest of this i'm going to draw the top view sometimes you have to uh draw the other views to get a decent idea of what's going on. So that's going to be 55, and then that's going to be 110, and 55, and then C for close. Now, I'm going to pick the center. Notice I'm not using a dimension. I'm just going to pick a center line, or pick a center and just draw a line there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next, I'm going to offset this line 35. And then I'm going to offset that line 80. Now I have the two spots where my centers will be for my circles. So, center diameter. This one, the diameter is 18. Okay. Now, if I hit enter, and then I specify the center mark of the circle, then it's going to ask me to specify radius. Even though I had first clicked the diameter, you know, center diameter. Well, now it's asking for radius. Well, 16 
diameter that's going to be a nine oops no, sorry eight radius so there's that and then I hit enter again now I could just as easily go up to the circle thing and say you know hey I want to I want to put in the uh, diameter not the radius but it's simple you know a diameter um, divide that by two and that's your radius so 46 diameter is going to be 23 and there we have it. Next, I'm going to draw in the hidden lines. I'm going to go up here, and I'm just going to draw a line straight down to here. Next, I'm going to copy. Oops, I need to stop that. I need to hit copy. And just do this, and this. Notice I'm picking right at the edge of the circle. Okay. I'm also going to do this. I'm going to copy this line from there to there. Now, this one, I'm going to select Extend. Okay, now if I hit that and then go to trim, I'm done making that, that hidden line right there. I'll do this here in a minute, uh, the spacing. Okay, so there's that. Now I can click this one, hit trim, boom. Got that hole done. Now, next, I need to offset 35. So, 35. Select that. There we go. I actually need to uh, copy to the inside. There and there. And then this and this become object lines. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> so now, I click that. Hit trim. Those are gone. Then I hit trim again. And there we go. Okay. So this is a through hole. This goes all the way through. This one just goes from there to there. Okay. Next. Oh, and this and this are not going to go into that. So trim. And there we go. Now, that's much better. Next, I'm going to draw some lines. So I'm just going, oh, let me make these guys go away. And I'm going to offset, let's see, that's 15 each way. So I'm going to go here, 15. I'm going to go here and here. Next, I'm going to select those make them hidden and then I'm going to select that trim and make those go away so now those that's going to be the gap between the legs over here that's making that hidden line now now I'm going to draw the line in the object line and I'm going to go from way back here way out here a lot of people use construction lines I don't um, it's not that there's anything wrong with construction lines um, I just never saw the need to have to redo them make them into something else I'd rather just go ahead and use regular lines and be done with it. Now we're going to
to catch these features. Okay, I think that is everything. Yes. So next, I'm going to draw a line right about here. I'm going to go up 45 degrees. Now that just happens to be 45 where I've got it, so I'm going to make it down here. I'm going to hit the tab button, and then I'm going to type in 45. And there we go. Okay, that's 45 degrees. Next, I'm going to select all of those. And then I'm going to hit mirror. And I'm going to bring that down to there. And I'm going to hit no, because I want to keep those up there until I'm done. Okay. Now, I believe this and this and this and this are going to be our only hidden lines. Okay. Now, this is where I start trimming. So, I'm just going to make a big circle like that. Now I'm going to start digging away at things that I know are not needed. Now, we're going to go here and here. And we can take these on up. I know they're not needed at that point either. And then the outside line, the bigger of the two, does not, it only goes between here and there. Okay, now that's done. Now I can take these guys out. And this and this. And that. And that. I can go there, I can take those out, and those. And there we have it. So now I can get out of the trim command and just select all of those and delete. Now we have to add our center lines. Oops. I need to get back over here and click center. And then we go back to annotate. Our center lines, all I gotta do is select those two right there. And it gives us that line right there. Uh, I'll hit enter and do it again. Enter and do it once more with feeling. Okay. Next, we're going to hit the center mark. We're going to choose the largest hole. Okay, the largest circle. We don't have to do it twice. Do it once there, and we're done. Now, we're going to take it into our metric drawing. Okay. Now, I'm going to double click here. Ah, I've already got it at one to one. So let's see if I can make it all fit. Wow. Okay. That is better than I imagined. I did not plan that to be that close. Ah, as I mess it up. Let me hit the one to one. Okay. Now, I'm going to make the grid lines disappear. Okay, now we have to do a few things. Uh, notice the hidden lines and the center lines do not appear as either. So, you type in LTS, line type scale. Enter. Okay, where'd you go? Hello, LTS, where'd you go? LTS, let's try it again. Enter. Okay, it says numeric value, requires numeric value, enter new line type scale factor. Right now it's at one, and that's why it's so tiny. 
So figure this, okay? Um, AutoCAD doesn't recognize whether it's an inch or a millimeter or a yard or a, a mile, okay? All it knows is ones, okay? It's one unit. So since metric units, um, a, a, um, an inch is equal to 25.4 millimeters, if we were to go to 25, then the dashes, the hidden lines, would be really, really big. Okay, so I'm going to show you. 25. Enter. Okay. Now, this is good. This is all good here. Okay. But this center line does not appear as a center line. And the easiest way to do this is to, well, first off, you can. Okay. Yeah, let me do this. I'm going to select this and this and this. And I'm going to right-click, Properties. See where it says Start Extension? It's 0.12. That is minuscule in a millimeter. So we're going to make it 3. Okay? Because that's like our text size. Okay? And 3. Okay. Now I'm going to close that and hit Escape. Okay. That still didn't help that guy. So, what I'm going to do, LTS, I'm going to cut this roughly in half. I'm going to go to 13. That's better yet, 14. 14 is a nice round number. Look at that. Now, our small center line appears as a center line. Now, these are three in a row, but that's fine. That's no big deal. The other thing we need to do is adjust these two guys and have them extend more than 0.12 from the edge of the circle. So, right-click, Properties, see where it says 0.12, you hit 3, enter, 3, enter, 3, enter, 3, enter. And we're going to close. And look at that. I am really impressed with my mad skills. <laughs> really. Um, this will be a little on the difficult side to dimension uh, when you get to this part right down here or these, but uh, it can be done. Um, but that's that's in Chapter 8, and I'm not going to worry about it. Okay? So this is how it should look. Uh, make sure that you have it scaled at one-to-one, -one, and you do have it centered. It does not have to be this spread out. It can be closer. It cannot be further apart because <laughs> you don't want the uh, drawing coming off the page. But yeah, uh, this is how it should look. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, please, um, you know, just, just do what you can. Uh, make sure you uh, adjust your metric scale. Uh, put the assignment name in there. And of course, if you've got your um, auto update uh, fields, update field, click there. Notice it says March 30th. Now it says October 20th. For at least seven more minutes. It's almost midnight. And I'm still at school doing videos for you guys. <laughs> but I want you to learn. So, yeah. Um, it's been 19 minutes. Uh, sorry, it's taken so long. But this is one of the harder ones in Chapter 4. So, uh, hopefully uh, you guys can knock this out and knock it out of the ballpark. Okay? Take care. Call if you have any questions. Bye-bye.